So with us is a very special guest. It's Mr. Arthur, CEO and founder of B2 Broker. Sir, welcome on Crypto TV. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, I'm glad that you are here. So thank you so much, Alex. So we are talking about, uh, you know, can you just take us through about your project? What this project is all about? When it, when you started this project, and what do you intend to achieve going forward? I see. Um, first of all, what is this B2 broker means? Like B2 broker, it's a business to broker. And uh, when uh, we established our brand, you know, uh, we were thinking how to call it because we are going to serve brokers and uh, one of my co-founder Eugenia she is chief operational officer of the company and she suggests she, she suggested like let's call it business to broker that's how uh, b2 broker was born and uh, now uh, we run like uh, several projects we have been working on the market since 20 14 and our business if you take a look like uh, in general you can divide our business into the four categories the first one it's a technology business technology business we run we actually we develop different white label solutions and we provide them to clients around the globe now to for them, uh, they can use our solutions uh, and launch their business models in terms of crypto brokerage, crypto exchanges. So, the second uh, category is our liquidity business. Third one, it's a payment business. And fourth one, it's a securities business. Yeah. What's the business model at? Uh, okay, uh, the, the first one, technology. It's uh, what we are doing. Actually, we are hiring, hiring uh, all the uh, developers, backend developers, front-end designers, uh, QA guys, DevOps guys, and we build uh, infrastructure solutions uh, for the brokers and exchanges. And then we provide them the full technical support. We uh, provide them 24 by 7 customer support. We do upgrade all the systems all the time so we never stop improvements and the brokers all what they need to do is just to take care about the legal stuff marketing stuff the sales stuff and customer support stuff all right fantastic as you are talking about uh, b2 broker you know as you have taken so you have four verticals so so i mean which vertical according to you is you know generating more revenue for you as of now good question Okay, uh, to be honest, uh, you know, technology, nevertheless, that it's a pretty large scale business, but uh, believe me, it's the, the, it's the, uh, the most less profitable business for us. So on the first place, it's a liquidity business, uh, and uh, our liquidity business, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, kind of like our first uh, target. And uh, on the second place, uh, I should admit that B2B and Pay, as our cryptocurrency processing business, is on the second play, place. So this is why uh, technology is kind of, you know, uh, on the short rank. So are you are you working to handhold this process and you know the technology aspect? You you're going to pump prime uh, the revenue from there. You know, uh, I don't think that uh, it's really possible to, uh, because our prices for our technology solutions are very affordable. That means and you're too competitive. And, and this is very competitive market. We have out there on the market so many competitors and they provide like more or less not the same, I wouldn't say, because we have advantages for every single product. And the also good thing is that we do focus on some particular things. We never spread our focus among like Fantastic. unnecessary things, you know. All right, all right. So is there any, any fundraising plan going forward? We have, uh, we are self-capitalized, you know, we are uh, feeling ourselves pretty well in terms of uh, capitalization. Uh, we have enough funds to continue uh, growing our business. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we receive time to time very good offers from the venture capital funds. Maybe we will consider in the future. Oh, fantastic. So what's your view on the Indian markets? Look, now the, the crypto is still hot. 
and I remember when we entered crypto market in the end of 2016 beginning 2017 I will never forget this day 1st of April 2017 Bitcoin hit $1,000 and everybody was wow it's like you know because it was $400 just in October November and in April it's already hit $1,000 and everybody was thinking that it's already something you know it's a huge achievement. huge achievement so now since after five years we see the huge uh, change on the market but we see the new business models coming in new companies the the companies from the traditional markets they are coming in DeFi sector is growing up Lovely. so you see it's just beginning guys that's what we are building it's just the basement of the future uh, trampoline so two quick questions on the sectors as well so we are talking about cryptocurrency there is a lot of volatility of late in the in the overall cryptocurrency market so what's your view going forward will this crypto, will this volatility continue look uh, Despite the fact that uh, geopolitical things, ongoing uh, circumstances that we can see now, uh, also made impact on this volatility, definitely. But also, I should say that, for example, just yesterday, I don't know, have you seen or not, but uh, the President Biden uh, in United States, he actually kind of forced his Congress to start regulated crypto. So we expect that if uh, United States will start regulated crypto in uh, six, eight months, it will force to change all the crypto players, all the crypto companies in the world because they will have to adjust their business models in line with crypto regulations because the United States it's a very sufficient part of this uh, world. So, so one last question, where will be the next opportunity? Will it be from the metaverse or the NFT for the, for the entire market? <laughs> Good question. Look. Okay, my personal opinion is just, you know, don't consider this as a prediction. Metaverse, it's a very, very young stage. You know, now what you can do, like I know that many companies now, they buy the lens in this metaverse to advertise their company uh, for the visitors, you know. But this is now just, just it's a very young uh, stage, a very early stage. So NFT, kind of started correction because everybody already realized that 80% uh, it was kind of, you know, uh, not scam, I wouldn't call it, but it was pumped up, you know. Fantastic. Do you, one one follow-up question on this is, what's your NFT moment? <laughs> Look, uh, we personally, we have our prop trading All right, okay. and so we invest some amount to NFT as well, but we choose them very, very carefully. The, uh, you have to avoid these pumping things, you know. All right, so any, uh, you know, anything for our viewers, any good wishes for the Crypto TV if you want to give? Yeah, okay, uh, guys, everybody who watches this video now, uh, look, uh, crypto market, nevertheless, it's, uh, it's still growing up, but so many business models out here already and uh, you have to choose when you deal with any counterparty you have to choose carefully this is my advice because uh, you know uh, take a look from all the angles take a look from all the perspectives and never put all the yak x on one plate or in one space so better to diversify your portfolio fantastic thank you so much Chief, for talking to us it is a pleasure having you on crypto tv thank sir thank you very much thank you so good much luck, guys good luck